over the past hundred years, our understanding of the biology of elite performance has skyrocketed. In the following few minutes, you're gonna discover how this understanding can help you achieve your boldest goals. Flow is an optimal state of consciousness, a state of consciousness where I feel our best and we perform our best. I'm Stephen Kotler. I've written 14 books. Four of them have been New York Times bestsellers. I've been nominated for a couple of Pulitzer Prizes. Still learning to say those words out loud. Or if I... Anyways, flow states aren't binary. You're not in the zone or out of the zone. It's actually a four-stage cycle. And you actually have to move through each stage of the cycle, get into flow again. So there's no such thing as a permanent flow state. Uh, in the early days, somebody would come up to me about once a month. They'd look at me wild. Like, Steven, Steven, you have to study me. I'm in flow all the time. We have a word for that. We call that mania. There is no such thing as a permanent flow state. In struggle, it's a learning phase and often overloading the brain with information. And it turns out if you really want to maximize flow, you kind of want to aim for frustration. Frustration, which many people think is a sign of, I'm doing something wrong, is actually a sign that you're moving in the right direction. The brain stores important unsolved problems. The more frustrated you get, the better chance you're gonna have of solving that problem, taking your mind off the problem. You can't stop thinking about the problem. You can't pass the problem from the conscious mind to the subconscious and the subconscious is way more powerful. Low-grade physical exercise works really well here. Long walks in nature is fantastic here, one of my kind of favorite release activities. Morning writing session is always followed by kind of a hike in nature at gardening. Studies show that building models, model airplanes or model dinosaurs work incredibly well. Uh, Albert Einstein famously, he liked to sail a boat into the middle of Lake Geneva. And Lake Geneva is prone to all kinds of freak storms. So Einstein would have to be rescued all the time from the middle of Lake Geneva. And he wouldn't stop because this was so part of his creative process and how he got into flow. Now this kicks us into our third stage of the flow cycle, which is the flow state itself. So this state of optimal performance where we feel our best and we perform our best. Flow and creativity interact. Laird surfed the millennium wave, one of the most famous waves in the history of surfing. There is a before and after, and what shifts in that moment is what's possible for the human species. You can hear his tow partner and everybody else who was there that day screaming at him, don't go, don't go. Everybody saw what was going on with the wave that it was jacking up. He's in flow, riding that wave. The wave is so big that it's actually sucking him up the face. This is something that's never happened before. And to solve the problem, what Laird does, Laird reaches behind him himself and drags his hand on the outside of his board to move that nobody's ever made before. And the question has always been, how the hell did he know how to do that at that time? Creativity and pattern recognition is amplified in flow. This is what flow provides. This is how flow and creativity work together. Flow is a very high energy state, as I mentioned and what goes up must come down. So on the back end of a flow state, there is a recovery period. So if you wanna maximize flow, you actually have to recover. You need seven, eight hours of sleep. This is especially important for flow. One of the things that happen in flow is learning is significantly amplified. And studies run by the US Department of Defense, uh, soldiers in flow learn 240 to 500% faster than normal. But we actually need deep delta wave sleep to move them from short-term holding into long-term storage so we can actually retain them. Active recovery better than passive recovery. Passive recovery, TV and a beer. Both of those things are really bad for recovery. Alcohol can interfere with REM cycles and with our sleep, so that creates a whole different problem. And television's all this quick cutting that grabs hold of our attention, jumps the brain up to Beta. It's a fast moving brain wave. What you'd rather have is active recovery. Epsom salt baths, saunas, massage, restorative yoga, breath work, meditation. And this helps us because we're going to move from recovery 
back in the struggle. So if you're not recovering in recovery, you're gonna end up locked out of flow. Understanding the four stage process of flow and the nature of the flow cycle is you always know where you are. So you always know where you need to go next and what it takes to get there. So how do these flow triggers work in business? I'm gonna tell you a story about Steve Jobs. I'm gonna tell you a story about Jeff Bezos. I'm gonna tell you a story about Toyota. Check out my flow trigger video. I'll see you there.